Salamat po uh, for your courtesy. Kindly sit down. And uh, well, this is a very good uh, written speech. Uh, but it is just a run of the mill degree prepared by the ladies there. I don't know. Uh, do not be offended, but uh, maybe if I have the time, if you'd allow me, I would read it. But otherwise, I'd like to just talk uh, what is in my heart. I am not into redundance. I am not campaigning. I have hit the, the end of my political career. At least uh, this period of time, I cannot run anymore. I do not know where to hide after this, uh, what I will do, uh, and find out if I can marry again uh, to make it more uh, an exciting uh, at your uh, at the end of time. Gusto ko lang ipaabot sa inyo uli. I said, uh, this is not uh, a campaign line. But what I promise to the Filipino nation, I will not bother you with the verbitals, but even I, ako mismo, was in wonderment when the results of the elections came in. Parang may feeling ako na manalo. Feeling lang. Hindi ko masabi manalo ako. But I never expected to get the votes, the 15 million plus the six, that was my margin, over my next opponent. So I started to wonder, and my wife is a Baptist, so sabi ko, Right after the morning, hinalikan niya ako, pati yung anak ko. Uh, sabi niya, pa, mayor ka, uh, presidente ka na ng Pilipinas. You know, I, mayor ako, kaya ko lahat. It's a small town, a little prodding there, a little urging there, and a little maybe sapakin mo, and everything will be all right. Now, if you want the kind of government on the local levels and everywhere, you have had the chance to go to Davao City and tignan ninyo. No, may droga pero in trickles. And sometimes you are hit with bombs. And of course, uh, the people remain to be poor. Majority of our countrymen are wallowing in poverty. Hindi na ho ako magdrama sa inyo, but I am also a son of a poor man. Otherwise, my father would not have ventured into Mindanao for a greener pasture. So, umalis siya sa Cebu because there was nothing there in the now. But after he was appointed as military mayor, and you can read the files, he was once upon a time the military mayor of the now, right after the war. But he saw the futility of competing with the Doranos, with the Almendras, if you are just nothing. So kaya pumunta kami ng Mindanao. Of course, my mother is a Mindanaoan. Pero sa kahirap ng buhay, we started also from scratch. And it was a long, hard life for us. I, I was not really pulling anybody's uh, leg. Na kung magdrama ako na I, at one uh, episode of our life, we had also our house demolished 
And to think that my father was a lawyer, na hindi niya alam, uh, pagatpatan, that's a, in Tagalog, that is, oh, uh, pagatpatan is a wetland. Ay ba ko, ano, ano Tagalog ba sa wetland? Ah, basta wetland. Uh, uh, nang, uh, it was there. And doon na kinukuha yung kugo noon for the horses consumption. Yung kumpay, not really kugo, but kumpay. That's the grass of uh, sa Bisayan. Kaya ako, by stroke of faith, he became governor. And I grew up with or in politics. Watching was about 10 12 years. So lucky ako ng hirap. Uh, 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 those times siguro, kung si gusto nila magnakaw, wala na mga perang nakawin. And like now, that corruption is still in the core of a business uh, transaction with government. So, ang, the only answer I could get Maybe, huwag kayong maniwala niya kung marunong maniwala ng Diyos. I said, my God is not your God. But it doesn't say, I do not believe in God. Eh, yung God mo, torpe yung yawa na. But my God guides me only on those things which are right. You have to scramble everything. Well, anyway, nakuha ko from the messaging and I hope you'd understand that. Nanalo ako, wala akong pera, wala akong tao, ni dito sa Pasay, ni wala akong isang barangay captain. Wala, wala talaga. Not even a single mayor, except si Abed, governor of Bataan, pero barkada eh. Yun lang. In the now city, where my father came from, or from where we come from, wala ako na isang barangay captain. But in Cebu City, won by a landslide. And only because uh, bisaya ako. So, fundamentally, what was my messaging to the people? Bakit ako nanalo? Diyan nga tayo magkatalo eh. Because while all their would uh, Criticize me harshly for kung ano-ano nang pinagsasabi. Masabi ko sa kanila, hindi ako pwedeng umatras eh. I do not have the luxury of slowing down even or just ignore what I promise because yun ang nagpanalo sa akin. I could not be a traitor Turn my back on my promises. Kaya sinabi ng mga tanda, iwala kang pera, pinapalo, pina, pinapanalo ka namin kasi gusto namin yung nabi mo. So, I will reduce the, my oath of office. Hindi na kailang, ay, Rodrigo Duterte, do hereby solemnly swear, blah, blah, blah. My oath of office simply says, that I protect the Filipino people and I have to preserve the nation. Yan lang akin. Pag hindi tayo magkaintindihan dyan, at ako, wala. Sigurado. Trouble. And I, well, if, if it causes uh, my downfall, so be it. Baka yun talaga ang destiny ko. Pero itong sabi ko, alongside with that, before I won, I was in the campaign hustings, and even during the presidential debates, you heard me talk. And because I realized that you cannot even present a good uh, synopsis because of the shortness of what was given us 
Kalau orang bini membigang kalau isang uras terti mina, that was all bullshit. Wala na mong makagawa ng gano'n. It's real, it's not really a debate. A debate is you are given enough time to inform the people of what you intend to do and what is good for this nation. But just a debate ng gano'n, one minute after that one another, it's all money there. Just raising money, that's all. Kaya bullet ng ako ng bullet. And what I said that if elected by the will of God, ang shala, uh, ito ang gawin ko. Katapusin ko, oh, I'll try to stop corruption. Then I will deal with drug. I remember the word I used in the La Salle debate, sabi ko, harshly. I would be very harsh. Then I said that uh, I have to tackle the peace and order in general. Then I will not interfere in the financial transactions of government. Then I would talk to the rebels, to the enemies of the state, to attain peace. Yun lang. So, ngayon, graft and corruption, talagang hinahabol ko. I was there in... Uh, uh, kagayan yesterday to destroy para matapos na yan eh. pabalik-balik yung isyo na yung smuggling tapos walang kukuha then right after a few months uh, the auction office will announce that it would sell sabi stop it because nothing gets there na meron doon na hindi ko pinasira yung bans pati yung hammer. Nung sinabi ni Tony Lambino, may hammer tayo dyan, how many, was it 14 or, uh, that time I'm sure I heard more than 10. I could not exactly remember what was the figure. But I said, do not destroy it because I'll give it to the military and the police for the use. Para nakahammer na kayo. Kami ilang taon na namin yan, naglalaway-laway kami, hindi kami maka... Tapos, uh, yung mga vans, because they are within the vicinity of the, uh, local governments, uh, kagaya niyan eh, hindi paghati-hatian na lang nila doon kung aabot. But sabi ko doon kay Rambino, you write me a letter, and he said, this is already in, the, in your office. So, ibigay ko yan. Hammer. Oh, ayaw ninyo yan? Ayaw ninyo? Is that? Ayaw ninyo, ibigay ko sa barangay captain niya. Pagbili pa ng ulol yung putang. Anabi ko, grab. Then, ay, kagabi, pag-uwi ko, yung importation niya ng bumper, uh, hindi na siya nagbayad of the whole amount, but said, uh, hiningalan siya ng 5,000. Walang resibo, wala lahat. Sabi ko, you identify the employees sa uh, Bureau of Customs. And I will call the idiot. Bak ginawa ka na to come to Manila, to my office. Kami mag-usap. Do not use government funds in coming here. It should be unofficial, private. Dalhin mo yung chief of office mo. Kasi mayroon talaga rin yan siya. Hindi mag-iari yan kung corruption mo lang, kung signal lang. So the corruption is still malawak. Talagang malawak. And even in the local governments, mas grabe. Sabihin ko sa inyo. And it's the very thing that is really pulling us down. Corruption. If I can make just even a dent or give the Filipino a respite of corruption, what's happening ever since? 
okay na sa akin. Sabi ko sa kanila, pumunta kayo dito bukat. Gusto ko kayong usapin sa opisina ko. And I will call PTB4 to broadcast live our conversation and I would ask them, bakit ito nakalusot itong bumper na ito? Just give me the paper. Eh, saan ang pera nito di corresponding payment? So if you cannot produce that, Basilan is waiting for you. Saluin mo na ng lahat ng IED doon araw-araw. And that is also bothering me. So anyway, uh, tapos yan droga. That was the second promise na bigo. At na, I, I, I curse, I, I throw epithets. At ang um, streets lang. Nung kung anong lumalabas sa bunga nga ako. Kasi galit ako. Ngayon, hindi na masyado kasi marami na mas magalit kaysa akin. Noon ako ang galit. Di ako ang nagmumura. Ngayon, kung magmura ako, pati itong ubis po, anong po, galit rin sa akin. Pati mga pare, so, sige, pagalitin ko na lang kayo, shut up na lang ako. Pero sabi ko itong droga, as I have, that's my favorite line. D drugs can kill a country. Itong droga na ito malawak. Noon milyon, ngayon bilyon. And the number of persons, dyan makita mo sa TV patrol, yung clock crawlers ng... DZMM, it's being shown or live cast uh, 24 hours. Kikita mo doon ang droga, pati ang... Sabihin pa na itong mga human rights. But let me answer them in a very courteous way. How about my soldiers and policemen who were also killed? Remember that Marawi thing started in a service of a warrant of arrest in connection with a drug case. What precipitated the trouble there was initially about drugs. And I have lost several hundreds of my soldiers. And every day, I lose one or two policemen or soldiers that is events or incidents connected with drugs. Bakit walang bilang? Ano, bakit lahat na lang 700 killed? They do not give a reason. Sino yung pinatay? May I just ask? Oh, sa mga extrajudicial kin, you can even prove it. Basta may namatay niya na ano, extrajudicial kin mo. Tarantado to mo. Diyan lang siya, ano, bumurahin mo. Bumurahin mo. Bumurahin mo. the former president with due respect said, bullshitin mo ito, mga iyawa na ito. Paano yung mga sundalo ko? O paano yung, sa bagay, tabla na, yung nagsaksak ng ombudsman. Buntis pa. Pero sa awa ng Diyos, patay na rin. So, tabla lang. Yung sa Dabao naman, bumili ng bata ng load. Pinatay niya. Pero bilib ako, ang inagaw niyang baril while being fingerprinted, buntis lang. Police woman, buntis lang, nagawa ng baril. Patay. Kumahina itong gago na to. Hindi mo pala sa kaya isang pula. Pat Minsan yung ikaw son, how many equalization did you pursue also? Eh, lahat man kayo? Or 
Arte-arte lahat man tayo dito. Hindi, hindi ka pwede mag-survive itong milo na itong Pilipinas. Kung hindi mo... You're, um, sabi ko, do not destroy my country because I will kill you. Do not destroy the young, our children. Pahiritan talaga kita. So what's wrong with that? That is a legitimate defense. Do not. There's the condition, do not. So hindi ka na mamamatay kung hindi ka do not. Uh, human rights. But I kept my defense all along. While they were investigating me. Alam ko na kung ano ang isasabi ko. Kept it a secret. Because I know na lalaki pa na lang eh. It was not until after uh, yung commissioner mission ng Human Rights Commission ng UN, sabi niya Duterte needs to be looked, uh, to be examined by a psychiatrist. I was preparing for my sagot ko. Ito, kasi I think that makatikim talaga ito ng mura po tayo. Just like the other previous, nung narinig niya, sabi niya, wag, wag, relax ka lang dyan. So, bakit, sir? Sabi niya, wag kay bigyan tayo ng dalawang kubra niya helicopter, baka hindi ituloy. Kapatid niya ni King Jordan eh. So, tumahimik ka na lang dyan. Hanggang ngayon, wala pa yung helicopter. Bantay ka, sir. <laughs> Pag hindi dumating yun, tuloy ko talaga yung mura. Ako naman, uh, nobody should be grudged me when I say that uh, we have a very limited source of ano sa mga intel kasi mga ito magta this only one country that I have been insisting na dyan lang kayo because I think this country is too far away the proximity is quite distant star and there will be no, no more I think that there, there will never be a time that you would have to be involved in a legal geopolitical issues of the world, unless it's a total war. Uh, hindi pa natin alam. So yan na, hindi talaga ako makahinto. Especially yung nakita naman ninyo, I, I would react almost. Bunga nga ako nang makita mo yung mga kababayan natin na gano'n na lang ang ginagawa. So pag, mag, mag, ano ako talaga ako, Butit na lang nagkaariglo ka. Talaga hindi ako atras. No way ako atras doon. So, ikaw, alis-alis tayo. I will look for money to finance you if you come home. Lahat ng Pilipino. Butit na lang ako doon. Magmatigas talaga because I didn't like the... Oh, what happened? Biro mo. You know, tayo may pamilya. You are basically a soldier. Ano, pag ang, ang pamilya, umalis yung tatay. Kaya ako, ano, kaya ako, ano sa ano, hindi ako ano ha, I really sympathize with my soldiers and policemen. Kasi pag nawala kasi, na-assign, there is a slight dysfunction. The wives will carry on, minus the husband. Ang kung may mga anak ang lalaki, it's not good na yung father image na dyan palagi. It entails sacrifice. I know that. That is why kita mo, di dinubli kong sweldo. Not because for anything. And even just to compensate for the regular absences. For itong mga taga... OFW. If they lose the father who works abroad, there is a dysfunction in that family. Hindi yan sabi mo makauwi, maka-urgent leave, makauwi ng ilang araw, maka-forlo. Wala yan. 
So kung ang nanay pati tatay magtrabaho sa labas, tapos alam naman ninyo na nire-rape yan doon, ginagamit gabi, araw, gabi, maglinis ng bahay sa main employer, tapos yung mga bahay ng mga anak niya, sister-in-law, that is why they are limited to three hours. And they uh, eat hard work. Kaya yung kondisyon ko na seven hours of sleep, no confiscation of passport, no confiscation of cell phones, so that can, then they have a day off and they can eat their own food, cook by them. No pumaya sabi ko, okay. Okay na ako. Pero kung hindi lumusot yan, sorry. Magtiis tayo dito. Kung magutom tayo, sabay tayo magutom. At sabay tayo mamatay. Para walang masabi ang Pilipino. Well, ganun. ganun lang ang sakit ng loob ko. Na kung bumalik sila dito sa bayan nila for all of their degradation na dinaanan. Reduced to, to the animal state. Tapos yung sweldo na ilan na pinapadala dito, eh alam mo ito mga put, pag malaman ka dyan na meron kang alawan, talagang sinasal hanggang bumigay yung bata. Eh may pera eh, alam nila. No, shabu is a commodity for the poor. Ito mga mayaman ngayon, and I'm sure that uh, sinalosa o ba, uh, is entering into the picture. Cooking na ngayon eh. Medyo bumaba na ang konti ang presyo, pati marami na ang supply. This could only mean that there are middle class. Ay, sa bagay, cooking is not oh, heroin. Hindi masyado not as lethal as yung shabu. Eh, shabu naman is a mixture of chemicals eh. That's why it destroys the brain. Ito namang cocaine, do not mix it with anything. It's organic. So, matagal ba yan? And uh, this is not really as bad as itong shabu. Itong shabu ang masakit sa akin. Kasi ang tinatamaan ang mga mahirap. Hirap na nga. And they will flounder. You know. There is a family. And there is one... All, Konektado na sa siya po. This suffering is wala, totally dysfunctional. Ang anak, iiwan lang sa kapatid, iiwan sa lolo, iiwan sa kapitbahay. So what will happen to the Filipino? What will happen to the human being? Sila, because they never tasted hardships. They have not experienced bitterness in life. Makita na kung gaano, kung saan-saan ka na pumunta, kung wala ka padukot. Wala sa kanila yan. Then I promised you that, uh, including uniform personnel, wag kayong pumasok dyan sa droga, yung mga murder for hire. Kasi ipaproject ko rin kayo. You can be very sure there will be a project for you. And really, that is to neutralize or terminate you. Kung hindi ko ganunin, walang mangyari sa ating bayan. At this time, when we are all bombarded with drugs, nobody seems to obey the law. Alam mo kung bakit ngayon? The fear of the sanction of the law na wala. Why? Because of human rights, ang police noon, previous administration, walang nahuli ilan ilang baybas. It was not only after I became president and it was, uh, I demanded that all records be opened to me, nakita ko ang Pilipino nakapila na by the thousands, araw-araw dyan sa television. All contaminated, all sickly, all rendered inutil because of drugs. Bakit noon wala? Kasi ang police takot. 
Ayan yung tagadabaw yan sila dyan nakaupo yung table na yan. Alam nila. Tignan mo, tanungin mo, how I protect my policemen and soldiers there. Nabi ko, for as long as I'm mayor, you will not go to jail. Provided you do your duty in accordance with law. Yun, accordance with law, bahala ka na dyan. Alam mo naman kung patayin mo dyan sa harap ng luneta, hindi ba yung accordance with law. Kung dalhin mo doon sa kusina ng Manila Hotel, barilin mo, that is in accordance with law. Kaya e wala kumang makita. Once there is a witness, then it's not in accordance with law. Well, pag-abubo mo naman yan. Yan, definition mo na yan. Mga dadabaw, kaya ang dadabaw, ganun. Kasi, at ang taga-dabaw ngayon, hindi naman ako, si Inday naman, they like it. Ang taga-dabaw na mismo ang, oh, wala rin siyong magawa sila kay, ah, alam si Mayura. Noon, di ba, alas dose, alauna, alas dos yon binabaan ko ng alauna. Reklamo yung mga taga-dabaw. Sabi ko, may marinig pa ako isang reklamo, ibaba ko yan sa alas unsi po, tang na sa'yo. Di tahimik sila. Ngayon, nandito naman yung isa, binalik ngayon sa alas 12. So, alas 12, tahimik ang dabaw. Birni Santo talaga. Eh, punta mo kayo doon. Wala na kayong mapuntahan. Kasi, yun know, ang dapat para sa Pilipinas ngayon. Yun know, ang dadabaw, parang may kurpyo. Kasi magtambay-tambay ka dyan, maglakad ka, loitering, patay ka. Paski, <laughs> Kasi pantakot na lang. Never mind about the actual uh, reality. It's enough that they are really hesitant to do it because they might violate the law. Yung man sana ang gusto ko para sa Pilipinas. Eh, pero I realize na... Ito. Pero itong corruption sa executive department, sa akin, tayo, uh, mawala yan. Ang hindi ko kaya, well, of course, I'm not saying that Congress is into it, but it's a local government because mine is only supervision, but not control. But pwede talaga kitang ipitin. Sabi nga, si John Anya is a very strict guy. Because, okay, I can either suspend you or I can just dismiss you from the service. Ang ombudsman kaya niyang gawin. Ang sandigan ba yan, karin niyang gawin. O di unahan ko na kayo. Bakit pa ako maghintay? I will just suspend you. For as long as itong mayor na may, ano, may uh, control sa police. Uh, so kung may crime, the crime is uh, repeatedly committed, mga droga, uh, tatatanggal lang kita talaga ng police. May mga itong mga ito, super superstar complex kasi yan eh. Lalo na yung matagal na family of uh, politicians. So ako, by the way, I am in favor of uh, putting up a, very, uh, a dynasty law. Okay ako, wala akong problema. Ang anak ko, Inday, I can tell you, I know her. Hindi magtatakbo yan ng nasyon. Ganoon lang yan. No, it was a reaction of a daughter na marinig ganoon ang salita ng uh, sabi man talaga, my father does not deserve that kind of statement. Uh, you know. Then itong di mo makialam sa transaction. Andito lahat ang cabinet members ko. Can ask Delphine, Lorenzana, General Anio. No transaction of any kind sa gobyerno dadating sa table ko. Yung, kaya wala tatawa ako doon dyan sa frigate na yan, yun. 
Walang dumadating doon. Pero sinabi ko, if you have, you have uh, a complaint, especially graft and corruption, I will give you the audience any time of the day or night. Basta may isumbong ka. All you have to do is to just uh, go to the guardia dyan, sabihin mo, gusto mo kausap si mayor dahil may report ako. I will entertain you. But dito, dahan-dahan lang. But corruption is still ma very much alive. Very much alive. Kaya, para masabi ko, mahinto na nga itong, you know, the import, then you wait for a few months, then there is the decision of the auction office to sell it, ikaw rin ang bibili, ikaw rin ang gagamit, maswerte kayo. So, ingit si Duterte. Ingit talaga. Puta. Sinong hindi mag-ingit niya na mga Harley Davidson, mga Lamborghini? Ingit talaga ako. I am... But, ang problema, because I love my country more than the inanimate thing there. I have to worry about the Filipino, the hunger of the Filipino, the suffering of the Filipino. Ayaw ko nga yan eh. Basta yung ganun, wag, amigo. Yung sa airport. Nabi ko, isa-isa pa. They are not allowed to open anything. Dumaan na yun doon sa ano eh. May may... Masin naman doon, pag akyat na doon sa conveyor, tapos na yun. Why do you have to fuck the bagay bag ng tao? Ay, ayaw ko. Yung kuna ng mga, ay, ilang beses ako dumaan. Tignan mo kami. Ilang taon ako mayor. 23 years. Naging congressman ako, one term. Vice mayor, one term. Punta ako kami ng Hong Kong, kaya pamilya. Yes, Mayor. Okay, okay. Kung magdating dito, kasama ko, galing rin mga Macau na gumawa. Kung anong gagawa. Dadating rin yung araw ninyo. E ngayon, sabi ko, do not, lalo na maliit, mabuti pa ang galawin mo yung mga mayaman. Huwag bang nagsumbong yan sa akin. Sabihin ko, mayaman ka man po, tangina ka. Tangina. Bigay mo na yung iba. Ito. Yung mga multi, baske, balik ta rin mo yung mga private planes na wala kang marinig sa akin. O yung maliit na, walang matakbuhan to eh. Ito, they don't care. Pag gano'n niya, ma'am, wala po. O, Adri, o. Yun na yun. Ito, maliliit, walang maibigay. Kaya yung dalawang manager dyan sa dalawang airport club, sinabi ko talaga, one more time. Dito si Art Tugad eh. Dito si Art. Ah, sarap niya, sabi ko. One more time. Doon kayo sa airport na, may maraming airport dito na ang, ang, ang haba parang basketball court lang. Pero dyan sa record, kumpleto na. Basketball court. Kung tignan mo doon, mag-landing ako ng kampanya, saan ang airport ninyo? Yan lang. So, gawain mo yan sa akin, sigurado. Kaya, sabi ko yung mga yung lowest bid, lowest bid, huwag akong magpaniwalain mga ko dyan. May yung lowest bid is kunsabo talaga yan. Siya na yung lowest bid, ibagsak na yung presyo, Magbigay pa siya doon sa engineer, magbigay pa doon sa mayor, magbigay pa sa gobernur, magbigay pa sa barangay captain, ang putang inang Pilipino na tabla. Ngayon, magkailangan, either they come to terms with me or magulo talaga itong biyahe ko as a uh, ay kung makaabot ako ng katapusan na. Then I said, I will talk to the enemies of the state. I tried with the season. Putang na, sobrang yabang naman. Mayroon ko, hindi ko napinansin. Ayaw mo, hindi wag. Sino ka ba? 
Who are you? Yung iba, and uh, the MILF uh, leadership is here, I'd like to thank you for coming to terms with us, and uh, I recognize your efforts. Uh, the Filipino people will remember you for all time. Si Noor naman, si finding her time, so it's his time. Sabi niya, mag-usap na lang tayo and it is there. And I hope that uh, he has mellowed a lot, but I, I hope uh, we can talk sense and maybe. Ginawa ko naman. Yun, sabi ko. Corruption, drugs, Sabi ko, law and order, I will talk to him. Tapos sabi ko, wala ako. Wala ako, kaya ako magmura. Yung inquirer na yan, pati ABS-ABN, wala silang masilip sa akin. Walang transaksyon magdating sa opisina ko. Baski balik ta rin mo yan. I exactly prohibited, Ibrahim. Yung project nila, ni Duresa, ni Lorenzana, ni Anyo, it begins and ends in your office. Dito ka sumagot sa akin. You do not have to explain to... Answer me first. Bakit may corruption? Sa awa ng Diyos, puro matino ako. Huwag kayong maniwala dyan sa... Now let's talk about Faildon. The reason why I am hanging to Faildon is this. Early on, I will reveal it now. It was Faildon who whispered to me, Yang mighty king, may racket dyan, sabi niya, sir, billion yan, matagal na. Kilala mo man yan si, sino yan, isa pa yan, giro. Kalawa mag-asta. Akala ko nung NBI yan. Kaya kung nalaman ko lang yan ang Alam mo sabihin kong ginawa niyan? Mayor ako. They were passing the syntax law. Ungab was made sa... Kasi Aquino kami. Ginawa siyang chair sa appropriations. Nung nagde-debate sila ng syntaxes, pumunta itong yawa na yan. Mabotit na lang kasi mista daw kami, 1967. Sige, miss that. Wala, miss that. Kain tayo. Kain kami. May dala-dala siyang bag ng ganun. Pera ba yan? Huwag mong iiwan, ha? Ay, hindi. Kala ko pera. Tapos kain, may iniwan sa sabi niya, ikaw na ang bahala. Hindi ko rin na ano. May kausap ako. Tapos sabi ni Bong, may pera ata yan. Putang ina, tignan mo. Pero nga, sabi ko bang habulin mo? Sabi mo siya sa aeroplano na, sabi mo, putang ina, yung pal na yan, baga, bigay mo. So, nandiyan sa security camera. Umagyat si Bong, binigay talaga yung bag sa kanya. Kasi gusto niya lowered. So, may experience na niyan ako. Nung sabi ni Pail doon, sabi ko, pag-aralan mo. Nabi ko kay Sunny Dominguez, Kami lang muna ang tatlo. So, sige, yariin natin to. So, you know how much we got from my thinking? 40 billion. Ah, kung itong paildo na ito, interesado yan sa pera, eh bakit hindi niya sinakyan yun? I mean, he was was, uh, hindi naman naswalod, but medyo nalusutan siya doon. I don't know. That doon sila Sid Lepinia. He was my chief of police for the longest time. Eh, Manuwala. Matitiyan. Dulay was my karoommate ko yan. Eh. Puro Ilocano yan lahat eh. Kasi kabinet na, dalawa, tatlo na lang kaming Bisaya na iwan. Puro, Iluk, puro Ilocano na ang kaharap ko. Kasi nandoon, nung, karamihan kasi ng sundalo, 
either Ilonggo or Ilocano. Mga general, kailang tangkap ang kasinan. Kasi paglabas niya, karga-karga ng nanay, general ito, balang araw. Kaya lahat ng, karamihan na niya, general, puro panggalatok. Wala mga general na si Buano. Mas Buano na talawan. Ano nga 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 kay si Buano na ba ako? Pero totoo man yan. Paghimo na upalte, kugihan ang mga yawa. At ang ina magtrabaho sa bayan natin ayaw. So yan. Ngayon, China si Kasi ito pwede makipagira siya. I will not waste my lives of my soldiers and... But I cannot, I cannot go into a battle that alam ko matatalo ako. Gago ba? And besides, if that conflagration there in the Middle East, without offending anybody. Hindi, wala namang Arab dito. We are all Malay. We only differ in religion. Which, uh, ako ay travel from one another in my values. Kung ano lang ang maganda, I follow Islam. Ganun. Pero itong sa, itong, but it is in the, in the belief also. You, received, you, you should read a book about, uh, about Islam. Now, when they, no, magpatay yan sila. There's really a purpose. Hindi yan sabihin mo ng Islam na basta na lang mag-urmentado. May specific target yan sila. And it is really, there is a purpose. And you'd notice that most of the time, they would use bladed weapons. Hindi yan. No? But uh, there will be a time for that when I'll explain. Ganon yan eh. Pero kung magdating kasi yan dito, Tapos magsabi mo na you will kill all infidels. Hindi ba? Pwede yung gano'n. So I cannot go to America. I am not sure America would be ready for that. They pass Congress and uh, ask permission to go to war. Marami. Eh. Pahirapan lang ang, ang 22, 23,000 uh, para sa polis. At ako ang tinatamaan. Gamitin ang extrajudicial killing. And this is what I do not like. Yung na uh, scrap na ano, helicopter deal with the Canadians. They will sell it to us. But we cannot arm them because we cannot use it against the civilians of my country. You never, you never take your geopolitics seriously and the, and the balance of the world. My civilians are joining the NPAs and they are killing civilians, soldiers and policemen and all. My civilians, my brother uh, Moro, are all civilians but they have joined Abu Sayyaf. Medyo okay pa, makain ko pa yan. Historical, territorial talaga yan eh. It's never an issue about religion. It never has been. It is not now. Walang kanila territorial. But ang problema nito, there is a new mixture, and that is ISIS. And if they go out there, because they are the fast losing mass base, they are planning, targeting Southeast Asia. Kung sa Southeast Asia, saan man sila, will do, do a rampage in Indonesia? Niyat. No. In Malaysia, lalo na Brunei, anong fertile ground mo? Southeast Asia. Mindanao. You want to kill infidels? There's a good mixture there in Mindanao. You can do what you want. 
Ngayon, saan man ako magtakbo? Can I call immediately with the flip of my finger? Canada? NATO, sabi nga na, sabi nga na, it's no longer, sabi ni Trump, it's no longer operational. Where's my immediate? Where do I get the rockets? Where do I get the thing there? China. Walang iba. Unless I go to state visits sa North Korea, ibiganin ko na lang yung, baka pareho yung ulo namin sira. Hindi mo kaintindihan kami. What do you do with your enemies? Like your father, your brother, father-in-law? Oh, I fed him to the dogs. I fed him to my fish pan, Manila Bay. The fish are regenerating much stouter. So yan ho ang message ko ay wala ko siyang itong baka magalit. Huwag na magsama ang problema kung magsama ang loob. Tapos yung next speech ko, gawin yung grammar, pabaliktad. So ang gawain natin, siyempre mga sundalo kayo, let us behave like soldiers. I will just read the last paragraph. Shilo. We will see to it that the, that the nation that we hand over to the next generation of Filipinos is one that is more stable, harmonious, and progressive. Together, let us continue to make great strides as we collectively bring out our, countries toward, our country towards a safer and brighter tomorrow. Mabuhay ang NSA at ang NICA at mabuhay lahat ang mga gwapo sa kanila.